Hi there, it's Louise with you of Timeless Craft Mama, and today I'd like to share a scrapbook layout process video created for the September challenge at Off the Rails Scrapbooking. Now, I have created this very mixed media steampunk layout inspired by our September 2017 mood board. Now, I'm going to be honest right from the start, steampunk is not really my thing, and I sort of had no idea what to do. I can't tell you how many times I actually looked at this mood board and wondered how I was going to turn a picture of my boys into this particular um, steampunk inspiration. So what I did was I got really outside of what I would normally scrap and I chose this photo of my favourite album. Now it's Christina Aguilera's Bionic album and what it is is kind of like her transformation from this sort of pop um, into you know uh, quite a different artist and I really like the way the album cover has that sort of steampunk feel to it. So I used the um, favorite song inspiration to actually create this sort of steampunk layout. Now what I've done is I've taken um, a backing paper and I've given it a coat of clear gesso and I'm going to use this to start building um, some layers in the background. So starting with just a little bit of ink through a stencil and you'll notice that this does mostly get covered up but sometimes when you're creating especially a mixed media background you're really just playing around with um, elements until you come up with something that you like. Now I have also shown you in the video how I made tags for this layout, um, so that's also going to form part of the little cluster. I'm using my new Carabell stamp, which is my favourite, it's got those clock faces and it's featuring quite a lot in um, pages that I'm doing at the moment. So I've added some inks to the background, I've added some permanent black ink stamping and I'm going to go ahead now and just add um, some more elements. So I've dug through my stash and I've found this cog stencil and of course cogs are, are very much part of steampunk so I'm going to use that around the page just to again add depth and interest. I'm using the Color Blast white gesso which if you let it um, stay open so if you leave the lid off it won't dry out it'll actually sort of thicken up and you can use it like a paste. So if you're not sure about um, having lots of different products whether you want gesso or paste or things like that the Color Blast gesso is very good because it allows you to have it best of both worlds. Now same thing with the gesso here I'm just adding some water uh, mixing that around until I'm happy with the consistency and then I'm going to add some white splatters into that background. Now when I'm adding splatters I'm not being too fussy about whether they're thin or thick or messy again remember mixed media background no rules we're just having a play around and you know if worse comes to worse and you hate the final outcome throw it away all right or send it to what I call the scrapbook graveyard so in my craft space I have an area where I put all of the layouts that have started and maybe haven't been going the way I wanted them to or you know different things that um, have stopped me from completing them and every so often I'll go into that graveyard and I'll actually pull out a layout and I may complete it or I may just decide that it's unsalvageable and it needs to go in the bin. So don't be afraid to have a little bit of a play and, you know, um, retire a project if you're not quite happy. Now, while I was waffling on there, sorry, what you saw me do was while those white gesso splatters were still a little bit wet, I've added some splatters of brown. And again, while the brown was wet, I've added some water and then heat dried that to move that all around the page. So building my cluster and then deciding that my background does still need a little bit of extra something. So I'm adding some paste through a stencil. And again, this is very much um, messy mixed media. A lot of what you do gets covered up as you add elements. So essentially just keep um, working on the background until you're happy with the layout. 
Now while that paste is still wet, I'm going to take these little wooden um, pegs that have got clock faces on them and some of the steampunk metal um, cogs and gears and little bits and pieces from this drinker box that's been in my stash for a very long time. And I'm going to actually press those into the colour blast paste because um, that will actually hold, um, because it's a wet medium, so as it dries it will hold those elements in place. Now I didn't start this layout with flowers in mind but I'm looking at what I've got going on the page and I know it just needs something a little bit extra. So I pulled out this um, sort of blingy butterfly and some flowers and laid them on the page and didn't really know what I wanted to do. So at this point I'm thinking I'm really quite pleased with the, the background I've got going on but it just needed something extra. So sometimes what I'll do if I've got a page that's kind of warped um, I will actually mount it onto some paper that I won't actually use. So in this case, this sort of yellow coloured paper that I really didn't like becomes a sort of a stabiliser for a page that just needs a little bit extra. And this bottom right-hand cluster wasn't something, again, that I'd sort of planned on doing as part of the layout, but I really like um, what I've got going on here. So I've just torn a little section, um, added some lace ribbon, uh, gone through the same sort of process steps as what I did to create the background of the main mixed media area. I'm going to go ahead and glue a few things down. And I decided that um, I'd already you know, um, had this photo chosen that showed the name of the album. So I wanted to um, outline what my favourite song on the album was. So the song is called Prima Donna and that's what I've entitled the layout. And I'm just going to sort of add a couple of little extra bits to this uh, bottom right hand cluster and then this particular page will be finished. Now uh, for somebody like me who doesn't classify themselves as a mixed media artist, um, I'm really so pleased with how I was able to put this layout together. So I hope that in watching this video you're inspired to try at least something, whether it be a product, a technique, getting out of your comfort zone, um, maybe you just want to scrapbook some of your favourite music. Anything at all that you can take away from my videos is the reason that I do them. So I'm hoping that something in this particular video will give you, um, you know, some inspiration. I really had so much fun creating this page. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your steampunk entries at Off The Rails Scrapbooking this month. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.